Okay. Um, so let's let's do this one as the last reaction of the day. Um, so this is another way to make an ether. So we already talked about you know making an ether from uh, alkene. Um, let's uh, make an ether from an alcohol now. So uh, remember we talked about sodium hydride being a good non-nucleophilic base. So in this case, sodium, of course, is always plus one charge. So the hydride um, anion is actually negative one, right? So, right, so sodium, the counter ion to that is going to be the hydride ion, which is a hydrogen with two electrons, okay? So that um, makes this hydrogen very, very basic, um, not nucleophilic at all. So whenever it sees any sort of acidic hydrogen, even slightly acidic, like the one on the alcohol, it'll go after it. So let's just erase this and draw it back over here. So what it'll do is it'll make hydrogen gas, and you'll actually see it bubble out of the reaction flask. Very fast reaction. Make the alkoxide. So that was the acid base. Or deprotonation. Okay. Make the alkoxide and H2 gas. Commonly you'll see a little arrow there in organic chemistry instead of that little G symbol that you might be used to from Gen Chem. Anyways, um, so this is actually what we call a two-step one-pot reaction because you don't ever isolate. This is an intermediate, right? But you don't isolate it. Um, you just uh, leave that in the reaction flask and then add your alkyl halide to it. Okay, so this has to be a non-sterically hindered alkyl halide, so because it's going to perform an SN2 reaction. So you can't have like a tertiary alkyl halide. If you do, it won't react. Anyway, so let's get that out because bubbled away. Uh, and let's just move this counter ion to somewhere else. Okay, so we dropped in our um, methyl bromide. So remember. The SN2 reaction. Okay. We should get inversion of configuration. But it doesn't matter because there's no stereochemistry, of course, with methyl bromide. And you'll see we make. ether out of that plus um, sodium plus and Br minus hanging out. So that's the only product, sole product of this one. So you do that acid base reaction, bubble hydrogen away, and then add your methyl bromide. Do the SN2 reaction. Everybody cool with that one? Okay.